Meg choked as Pippa Middleton leaks, Kate hiring bodyguard to stop Meg ruining her wedding, jealous of your own sis. It seems that not only is she jealous of Kate, but Megan also has a dislike for her sister Pippa, as she's been a favorite after the famous photo of being Kate's bridesmaid. It is known that at Pippa's wedding, Kate had to hire security to prevent Megan with the intention of overshadowing the party on that big day. This was told by Pippa during the wedding anniversary. In 2011, she became one of the world's most famous bridesmaids, thanks to the sleep dress she wore to her sister Kate's royal wedding. Six days later, it was Pip Middleton's turn to become a blushing bride when she tied the knot with the hedge fund manager James Matthews. The couple married St. Mark's Church in Englefield, West Berkshire, on May 20th, 2017. Fast forward six years, James and Pippa now have since welcomed three children into the world, Arthur, followed by their first daughter, Grace, and their youngest, Rose, last year. Rumors had built up for months as everyone was eager to find out what kind of dress the youngest Middleton daughter would be wearing on her wedding day. It seems she channeled her inner Kate after wearing a classy lace wedding dress. Pippa truly was the blushing bride as she dazzled guests in her bespoke lace gown by British designer Giles Deacon. Bridal wear experts commented on her strikingly beautiful pearlescent white gown with couture designer Edward D'Angelo previously telling The Telegraph, I love the lace, it looks so clean, so pristine, she looked immaculate. Designer Charlotte Balbier added, she's got the keyhole back detail, which is how to show a bit of skin without being too much. I believe if you're going to show off the back detail, then you must go high at the front, and she's done that. I love the high neck. That's my favorite part. Pippa wowed guests as she arrived at the picturesque St. Mark's Church in Englefield in an open top gun metal gray 1951 Jaguar MKV with her father Misha. According to the book Finding Freedom, written by royal reporters Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, both Pippa and her mother Carol Middleton harbored concerns that Meghan and Harry's presence might overshadow the ceremony. Meghan put careful thought into her outfit, but that was not enough, as it goes on to say, The day of the nuptials, a newspaper ran a cover story. It's Meghan vs. Pippa in the wedding of the rears. Accompanied by a rearview paparazzi picture of Meghan in yoga pants, leaving a central London yoga studio that week, side by side with the infamous photo of Pippa from behind during Kate's 2011 wedding ceremony. Harry and Meghan agreed that she couldn't possibly turn up at the church, only 50 meters away from a specially arranged media pen, after such a crass cover story. The authors say that Harry and Meghan then came up with a plan, which saw them drive out to Berkshire on the day of the wedding. Meghan stayed in an Airbnb that a close friend and wedding guest, Pippa, had rented on her behalf, while Harry attended the church service in Englefield. Meghan did her own makeup and got dressed into a decidedly unflashy long black gown. Harry then traveled back to the Airbnb for a spot of lunch with Meghan before he drove them both to the reception at Middleton's Buckleberry home. The book claims that Pippa did not want the couples to sit together at the wedding reception. It reads, Sitting together in the custom glass marquee that had been erected in the 18-acre property should have been a fun night for the couple, but as per Pippa's request, no couples sat together. Harry and Meghan then apparently reunited near the dance floor where they spoke about their evening apart. They left at around 2 a.m. where a protection officer drove them back to Kensington.